What's up guys, welcome back to Static Garage. Today we're gonna be finally revealing the wheels that have been sitting in my garage for about a month I say. A month. And the reason we've been waiting so long is because we're waiting for a little piece to come in. And that's this guy right here. So before we reveal the wheels, which I know you could probably already see, with this um, logo. We're gonna show you guys what we got before to be able to even run these because this exact wheel is five by one, one, four, three. And this car is a four lug, four by 100, which can fit Stephanie's Miata wheels. Fuck, uh, fuck. Box in a box? Ooh. BMWs don't have studs when it comes to holding onto the wheel, they have bolts. So with this kit, we're gonna be using these to tie in the wheels down. And then we have another box which is gonna contain the adapters. Damn, bro. The presentation's pretty sick, I give them that. Yeah, it is. Sick. So there you go. So these are actually custom made for the setup that I'm going for. So if you guys don't know who, 42 Draft Design is. They're a company that I believe does exhaust and stuff like that. I heard about them when looking for these and they're probably like one of the only ones that have, besides I believe Blocks Motorsports, that have four by 100 to five by 1143. And I did have them custom made to fit the bore of the wheel and then the hub of the car. So I believe the hub is 53 I believe I think the wheel I know the wheels for sure are gonna be 73.1 and the hub on the e30 is I believe 57 maybe I think and I guess we should probably open up the wheels and show you guys what we got god dude these are one of my dream wheels and they're probably one of the cheapest that you can buy seriously a lot of you guys are probably gonna be wondering how the hell I even got these brand new to be honest You didn't see out of the camera, Static Cha Cha? A little shy still, you know? <laughs> I don't think they're ready for this. They aren't, bro. He's gonna piss off all the guys that want me to throw BBSs on the car. Alright, that's all you guys get for now. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> you guys ready? Sick ass food. They look so good. Yeah, I like these wheels, dude, honestly. <laughs> On the black, too? Are they that heavy? They're light, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. That fucking bronze is so nice. Look in the sun. It's so light, and that's what I... Hey, hey, fuck off! Bro. Bro, dude, wait. Just wait till we actually put them on. So the wheels I got, if you guys don't know what they are, they're MB Battles. And there was rumors that the company that makes them MB were supposedly discontinuing them and they've been discontinued since like fucking 2005 or something. And they bring them back here and then and people are selling them online for a whole set for like $800. And that's beat up, like really beat up. And I was actually gonna do that. And I kept trying to find out if they're actually in stock because whenever I go to Discount Tire, which is, I guess, the owner of MB Battles, um, they were sold out. So I kept calling them. I had about like three long phone calls with customer service. And I guess the company still had some of these in stock. So I believe you guys can get some. And I was able to special order them because I guess you couldn't do it online, which that's what I asked. If I could just go through the online route since I knew they were in stock. And... He told me I had to do it over the phone. So, for about like 550 bucks, I got, I believe, one of the cleanest, I guess, non-real wheels. I don't know what the replica's of. I know, I think someone mentioned it in, an, in the other video that we asked, but, but here they are. And I guess it's time to um, try them on. We are gonna be removing these Allen bolts so this plate literally goes on any of the ones that we want. 
and there's only three of the regular bolts so there's this smaller one that has a thinner cone head so this one's going to be going on together like this it's going to be pretty much flush with the surface to fit inside here that's nuts bro now the adapters are on and this is going to be temporary i'm going to be taking them off and cleaning the surface and actually torquing them i'm hoping that this does fit because i've seen 17s on e30s that's not really an issue it's the offset and how wide it is and i've seen people run 16 by nines plus i guess like 15 plus or minus and these are plus 30 but the spacers are plus 18 so that drops it down to plus 12 so that should give me a, a little bit of play um so hopefully it doesn't hit hopefully fuck i hope it doesn't that doesn't hit uh, so that's my biggest fear is it's gonna hair is gonna stick out too much if it sticks out too much i could camber it but then you're gonna have some issues hitting you know anything down there so it's fine we'll just put them on the e36 hey <laughs> what happened to it bro broken. we're gonna be bringing some more videos of the e36 so you guys have to stay tuned for that oh it's gonna hit it's gonna hit that. Oh, bro, that's so close. Bro, that's perfect, dude. Look at that fitment. The strut is gonna move with the car. Yeah. It never moves. And actually, if I do camber it, it's gonna camber down. And so is the strut. That looks so fucking nice, dude. Fuck, bro. Bro, look at the clearance on that shit, dude. And the match colors, too. That looks so nice with the BC Racing Coils. And since I am getting a big brake kit, probably soon, it's gonna clear. That looks so good, dude. Holy shit. I guess this is gonna be my craziest fitment that I've ever done because I am gonna be trying to get that fender to lip on some BC Coils. And if I have to go stiffer, I'll probably get some stiffer springs. But I'm sure I could probably do it, not exactly on the fender, but more tucked in just so it slides in. And the probably ghetto is way to try to see how much I could tuck in with the wood block and a jack. That's how close I can do it right now, how low it is. So I'm gonna be lowering it quite a bit because I also, uh, I'll probably camber it about like a degree or two just so it tucks right under. Definitely gonna have to be getting some really, really skinny tires to fit it. And the funniest part about everything is that that gold that the car was before matches with the bronze. Because a bronze is like a gold, not even really a bronze. It's weird. So you can see that it actually doesn't look bad at all. Like it literally makes it look like it was part of it. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like it belongs, bro. If you guys seen that I only had two adapters, that's because I'm only gonna be rocking them in the front for now. I do have all four wheels, but the rear, you're not gonna have camber adjustment and all the adjustment I need and that's what I'm going to need um, when putting the wheels on just because it might not fit right and all that good stuff. I want to dial it in perfect. So I am going to be most likely getting the adjustable subframe from Garagistic, which is our new partner. So make sure to hit them up for all your BMW needs. They make roll cages, suspension kits, power steering deletes, a bunch of shit that you need. And that's what I'm actually rocking on my car for the bride seat to even fit. So I am gonna be probably getting their adjustable subframe to have camber and toe adjustment to fix all that. And the front obviously has adjustment right here. So I am gonna be probably dropping it even more and probably make it as hard as the eye already maxed out as stiff as I can. There's so much things I still need to do. I still need to paint that mirror because this mirror is painted. I need to put the inside of this door piece back on after I put the key back on because that side is complete. So many nice. And I have a bunch of parts lying around and I have a bunch of parts that I'm missing that I don't know where the fuck they're at. So I'm gonna have to actually go and buy some off a parted out car, especially since I'm missing the back seat. I don't know how the fuck I lost something so big, but I'm missing that. <laughs> it was so random. Definitely need to get new badges and I'll probably spend like the $50 on some OEM ones just so they look really nice. Because the OEM ones are, are made out of really good materials I've noticed because I tried sandblasting it to make it chrome 
and that obviously didn't help so definitely gonna be have to getting new front and rear ones which are gonna be probably like $70 together on that note hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed the new wheels like subscribe share and we'll see you guys in the next one